Cancer, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well. All right, so I wanted to get your reading done before I had to take off for a couple of days. So let's see what's going on. This reading is for anybody with a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because it is general. It will not resonate for all of you. But let's see. Wow, are you ever showing up right away in your own reading with the Chariot? So the Chariot's your major arcana. For those of you that are brand new, major arcana signifies major life changes, decisions, choices. Let's see what's happening. Oh, Wow, moving forward, moving ahead, celebration, possibly travel, happiness, maybe reunion, apologies. Okay, ooh, Cancer, somebody wants to sweep you off your feet. Could be a water sign, a fellow water sign. Here you are, Queen of Cups. There's an offer coming into you, like an offer and an apology, a celebration, decision time, taking action to make decisions here. Okay, so I feel like for some of you here, you know something, some of you here, this person was stuck due to their own like mother or per parent, parental figure, like maybe they tried to stop this connection. Yeah, this left this person stuck. Ah, they were dealing with the mother of their children, possibly playing games with them to make them stuck. I don't know why I'm getting that, okay? But if that's the case, your person coming up as the King of Wands took the action to leave this person out in the cold. It could be they were in a marriage or commitment. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It's not going to resonate for all of you. But for others of you, your person is seeing you as the empress and they left you stuck because they played games, because they weren't sure about marriage. I'm getting both, both messages here. Uh, but I, I'm, they went through a transformation. They changed. They, they've gone through this rebirth and they're realizing that you are their person. So they want to make up for it by coming into you in a very romantic, very loving kind of, um, yeah, like they're going to pull out all the stops is what I'm seeing here. This is somebody who's very magnetic, very sexy, okay, probably has other suitors because they give off this energy of being very exciting, very alluring, could be very good looking. Um, this is somebody that I feel like is realizing you have just as many opportunities as they do or they have. They want to say they're sorry. This person, you know, has realized, I feel, or will realize in the near future here that you are their person because of the Knight of Cups right next to the, the Queen of Cups. And again, they're realizing that you too have other opportunities and you may have left them out in the cold because they started to play games with you and mess around. I mean, when I say mess around, I mean messing with your head. Um... They could have been messing around, but then that's not somebody you want to mess around with either, is it? No, no, us water signs will not tolerate, you know, uh, cheating and all those things. Like we, if you're an evolved water sign, you won't cheat and you won't put up with cheating. That's just who we are, uh, depending who I'm talking to. But this is, you know, has left this stuck energy. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to pull the Morgan Greer deck cancer for you so let's see what's happening i have strong cancer in my chart as well so many of you water signs whoever's watching may resonate with this now or in the future okay cross watchers you're welcome here and this may resonate vice versa so keep that in mind take what does leave what doesn't personal readings are closed for a couple of days fyi because again i will be away um so i've marked that off on the calendar okay uh so let's see what's happening Cancer, let me know if this resonates for you. Leave me comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. That's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I truly appreciate it. It not only helps the channel to grow and reach other Cancerians and cross watchers so that they understand your energy and vice versa, but it also helps others to um, know what's going to happen in the future, you know, what could happen in the future, and to kind of learn from 
others energy as it comes along meaning that if things have already happened for you say but the next person watching this it hasn't happened yet because you are all in your timelines at different times then it helps us right kind of forecast everything so just keep that in mind it's a win-win for everybody and the other people get to understand your energy better so like if you're interested in a capricorn and they're looking at your cancer reading like they get to understand your energy better and possibly see what you're going through so again you know, the hitting the like button seems so small, but it really is a big thing uh, for us uh, readers, etc. Okay, wow. <laughs> Cancer, you have the King of Wands twice. That's very foretelling right there. Tarot dice and the 1970s deck. So I'm using the vintage deck, right? Um, and so I feel like Spirit is saying, be patient. Your king is coming. They are making choices and decisions. What are these choices and decisions that this king is making? to put the work in, to work really hard at this connection. So maybe they weren't sure before, but it's not showing that. It shows that they were stuck before for the reasons that I mentioned. Ah, okay, for some of you, this person financially has gone through possibly some kind of loss. It can be they were dealing with the parent of their children, created some kind of financial loss for them, or they were just like overall, like they, they went through a breakup. The Five of Pentacles could mean a breakup, an ending. And they want to apologize, but there were certain decisions and choices they had to make. Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups twice. Again, look at that. So double clarification of the King of Wands, double clarification of the Five, sorry, yeah, the Seven of Cups. So this is about, you know, I've been kind of confused. I've been thinking a lot, you know, I've been working a lot because... I'm going through some financial difficulties right now. I may have gone through a breakup or will be going through a breakup in the near future. Could be. Let's see, because there's the death energy. Page of Cups. Wow. Cancer, you've got the Page of Cups twice now. King of Wands twice. Seven of Cups twice. That is no accident. That is somebody making the decision to come towards you, to put the work into your connection, to apologize for something they said or something they did or for playing games you may have left this person out in the cold because they played games with you clarify the page of cups what does this king of wands want to do they want to bring in something tangible to you cancer they want they want to say they're sorry and they want to bring you something that proves you know that they value you they want to show you that they value you wow let's get their energy on the other deck what is going on with Cancer's person of interest now or in the near future? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I don't know why I still have these on. <laughs> What's going on with Cancer's person of interest? I only need them for looking at these tiny dice, right? And, and small print. So just reading glasses. What is going on with Cancer's person of interest now or coming toward Cancer in the future? What is going on? So there will be a part two for those of you brand new. I almost forgot. Upper right hand corner near the end of this reading, it'll say part two watch now. So you can check that out if this resonates for you. I'm going to dig in and I'm going to use a new spread that I haven't used in a long time. I used it for Scorpio as well. It was fantastic. So if you want to check that out, check that out in part two. So it'll be at the upper right hand corner near the end of this reading. I'll say part two watch now. And down below there will be a um, little arrow, uh, more button, I believe it says or something like that. And the part two options will be there. So check that out. And we're going to, near the end of the reading, get the confessions from your soulmate. Pick a card, one, two, three. So have in your mind, Cancer, which one you feel the most drawn to, the second and third as well. Okay, so in your person's energy, two major arcanas right off the bat. Look at that. Sun. The devil. The two of wands. Your person is absolutely obsessing about making plans with you right now for the future. They're thinking about the future. And... It's becoming very clear to them what plans they need to make or what they need to do in order to make these plans, to come towards you, to reach out, to admit to some kind of wrongdoing is what I'm getting, okay? This person may come off to you as quite materialistic, hot to trot, exciting, fun, Underneath that, there is somebody who's very soft and gentle and does want something long term. They may have been confused when you met them or they weren't sure. 
Um, keep in mind this person is coming in at a page level because they want to soften. They want to present you with the softer version of what they showed you before was a little bit too maybe ego driven. You know, they're trying to show you how fun and exciting they were. And now they know that doesn't work. So maybe they're going to come in in a much more softer, gentle way. But I truly feel like this person wants to reach out because they're realizing, you know, they did play or mess, mess around playing games before and that landed them absolutely nowhere. But for others of you, definitely this person felt stuck in a marriage or commitment and, you know, that's why they were messing and playing games because they were confused and honestly, this person wasn't sure what they wanted. This is somebody that needs to learn how to temper their emotions, how to kind of, um, I want to almost say like have a filter. I'll clarify the temperance in part two and the king of wands in part two. I'm going to leave those that way. Okay, let's clarify the two of wands, please, for cancer's person of interest. Because I there's so many more messages I want to get you before we go into part two. I want to get who you might be dealing with or who they might be dealing with. See, look, King of Cups. This person has love for you and they are a divine match. We have the king now and the queen of cups. You are a divine match. Wow. So this person is feeling the love for you and gaining the clarity that they're already attached to you. Their heart is already attached to you. That's what I'm getting. So this person may have been moving painfully slow, Cancer. What about this King of Cups for Cancer? What do we need to know about their energy moving forward? So even though I'm doing these messages in June, it could resonate. July, August, November, December. That's how Tarot works. Remember that, okay? I've had things happen to me all the way up until the year. And you have free will and your person has free will. Whoever you're dealing with are coming towards you. Yeah. They're obsessing about, you know, I want to take this leap of faith to come in towards you, to bring clarity about how I feel, to put the effort in here and show you my softer side. It's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a chance. So I need to plan it. So they feel they need to plan it as best they can. <laughs> I see. Okay. So they feel they need to plan it the best approach that they can so that they will have success with you. So that's why they're coming in in a much softer, more gentle, loving type of fashion, but yet a more serious one as well to show you that, you know, you really do mean something to this person. Like they, they, they're feeling the love. So they just showed, I feel the wrong side of themselves before they weren't being perhaps real. They wanted to show you that they were fun and exciting to keep you maybe interested. That could have been some of the games they were playing was letting you, letting you think they had all these other opportunities to keep you invested in them. Wow. Could be dealing with an Aries, another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, we also have Capricorn energy here, Leo energy here, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Sagittarius again. And of course you, Cancer and Scorpio. Those are the strongest. What's this fool up to? <laughs> Oh boy. Well, oh. Death and the lovers. They have a choice and a decision to make. Either take a leap of faith and go through this transition or stay stuck where they are. Those are their choices. Yeah. Don't forget, you have free will and they have free will. You never have to allow yourself to be stuck if you don't want to. But your person is trying to figure it out. So I feel like, you know, Cancer, they're behind you because you're already coming up as a queen of cups. Your cups, your true, loving, authentic self. You're supportive. You're nurturing. You've been very authentic. You're balanced between your head and your heart. I see nothing wrong in your energy at all. Let's go ahead and get the mutual energies between you and them. Or Cancer, what are the mutual energies? Again, let me know how this resonates. Don't forget to check the notification bell. I've had a couple of clients message me and tell me that the notification bell was not, not uh, working, not functioning. And so they didn't get the notification about the reading for the Scorpio. So make sure your notification bell is hit if you want future readings, whether you're brand new or whether you're returning. Always make sure the notification bell is hit or else you won't get any future readings. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, technology. What can we say? 
What's going on, please, for Cancer? What are the mutual energies between Cancer and the person they're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? There you go in a nutshell. You're going through a transition and they're going through a transition. Okay, we have the death energy twice. Once in the tarot dice and once right here. So there's definitely a change going on. Any decision and choice we make, we're going to have to deal with the consequences, good or bad. We're going through this transition. It's meant to happen with death here. That means that there is something that we're closing out. We're ending one thing, going towards something new. And it's decision and choice time, seven of cups twice, okay? So I definitely feel like your person, double clarification, has been, and I feel you too, uh, Cancer, has been kind of overthinking things, allowing yourselves to be stuck. Overthinking and rethinking perhaps decisions over and over and over again without maybe possibly coming up with an answer. Because there is this loving connection, King and Queen of Cups. I feel like we need to temper our emotions while we're kind of making these plans. Because we felt overwhelmed, maybe, with the thoughts running through our head of the decisions that we had to make. Wow, no wonder. Some of you are twin flames. Okay, if you believe in that, I totally do. Um, twin flame, we only have one twin flame, but many soulmates. Okay, so twin flame is like one soul cut into two. Woohoo. And so, like, you have this longing for each other. Spirit saying not to over overthink this. This is a divine connection. One door closing, one door opening. Lovers, divine connection. King, queen of cups, divine connection. Sometimes it takes taking a leap of faith. We have to have trust and faith in our path. That's what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck. Control, take your power back. So for some of you here, you or they or both of you may have decided to kind of end this connection, to go through this transition and you've had to be really patient while you perhaps work on yourselves or work on making these decisions and choices at a very patient level. Meaning like instead of being overwhelmed and kind of like feeling chaotic and, and getting out of control emotionally here with temperance. Because uh, that's what the, your angels are advising, their angels are advising, that we make one decision and choice at a time instead of allowing ourselves to kind of get overwhelmed. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what your uh, animal spirit guides would like to say for cancer. What are the messages for cancer's highest good? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? And I want to say watch out for fake readers. Oh, I am just like... I'm blown away by how many fake readers they are. They ch listen to the voice and complain about it. Report it, please. They're making money off of other people's work. It's absolutely awful. And the thing of it is, is that they're changing the voices and they're pumping out reading after reading just to get, just to get the, um, reap the rewards. That's what they're doing. And I can't believe they're getting away with it. They're, and the more they get away with it, I feel it could even be the same person is doing channel after channel after channel. So if you see that, all they do is they lay cards down with a candle and they change the voice and the recording. One one uh, of the recordings was awful. I could see this hand going like this, repeat. It was like on re repeat. It, I'm not kidding you. Like I was like, please don't fall for that everybody. Like it was so noticeably fake. So be careful, okay? There's a lot out there. Don't give them, and they erase your messages. If you watch, you might put a comment. They erase it. If you notice anything, they erase it right away. Um, anyway, okay. On another note, all the fantastic readers out there. Wow. You know, it just, I feel so bad for all of us authentic readers that really do put our heart and soul into the readings. And then you have people like that, that just, it, it just makes me crazy. Anyway, Panther Guidance. It is time to release your passions, live your dreams, and begin a new chapter in your life. There you go. Death here twice. That indicates going through this transition so that we can open a new chapter in our life. One that's full of love here with the King and Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. It will require taking that leap of faith, though, you know. And, you know, this, this is so that you're encouraged to, like, expand your awareness and get rid of any kind of fears that you have and become a whole new person. 
and spirit wants you to know which is fantastic with temperance here that you are being guided but you're also being protected okay you're being protected from anything or anybody that will try to prevent a divine connection next message owl observation you're being encouraged to look beyond deceiving appearances into the true reality of a situation or a person's motives you need to hear what is really being said despite the words and emotions coming from the messenger okay so i feel like your person has had to temper their emotions i feel like they were somebody who was very excitable um wanted to you know I'm getting like is very passion driven with the king of wands again it's a go-getter it's somebody that likes to get what they want it's somebody that's excited but sometimes that excitement can kind of overwhelm them overpower them um, and then they come off wrong so what I'm kind of getting is spirit is saying uh, observe instead body language like they could be really nervous and anxious but it's coming out as you know joking being funny being you know fun um, they're covering up the fact that they're seeking and needing the inner guidance from the universe to temper their emotions to come into you in a much more gentle fashion because us water signs do not like somebody that comes off with a lot of ego that's a huge turnoff okay that's a huge turnoff because us water signs are about love are about nurturing are about authenticity about being like supportive of each other and we're not we're not materialistic don't get me wrong, we like some of the finer things in life, but we can take them or leave them, right? Absolutely. Let's see who or what is affecting your connection, your life cancer. Let's check it out. Sorry, these are exceptionally loud cards. <laughs> I apologize. Let's see what's going on. All right. What are the messages for cancer? The pathway is open, Cancer, so there's no reason why you and your person cannot come together. That pathway is open. Look at all the butterflies. Do you see do you see how beautiful, sunny it is? The light, spirit saying, go towards the light, follow the pathway, follow this transition with the butterflies. So you're being advised, your person's being advised to take this leap. Oh, wow, you are of high honor. Okay, I feel like your person sees you as very honorable, that you are their path. If they're not seeing that now, they definitely will be. Okay, mm-hmm. So they may have been acting false before, pretending that they had more than they did or they were better than they were. You know, like just kind of over-dramatizing their, their value. Like maybe they wanted to show off their car or their house or you know, their motorcycle or their job or whatever, like, you know, trying to appeal to you in a materialistic way, which for, again, a water sign, we don't care. <laughs> I mean, again, we care about being able to buy our groceries and enjoy life, go on vacations, but we also know that it's not the be all end all. You know, you can have all the money in the world, but you can be completely miserable. No, us water signs want more than that. We need depth, marriage, commitment. So this person may have been in a marriage or commitment and acting fake and pretending they're happy when they actually were very stressed and unhappy. And they started to look at their other opportunities, you being one of them, Cancer. That's not going to be for all of you. So don't shoot the messenger. For others of you, you know, they see you as marriage material. They could have been playing games with you, you know, to see if you how interested you really were. Maybe they wanted to make sure that you weren't a false, or false person and they were testing you to see if you were all about the materialism, see if you were going to go after them for that because maybe they've had a couple of gold diggers in the past. I don't know. It's possible. That could have been why they did that. This came up in the Scorpio reading as well. Imprisonment. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody or they are who went to prison or they were stuck because they, ooh, yeah, could be. Somebody in their family went to prison. Could be one of their own family members. I hate to say it, but for some of you, this person was stuck because they were dealing with somebody they were in a marriage or commitment to. Okay, they were acting false. They could have been trying to get away with something. It could be something monetary, something legal. I don't know. But five of pentacles, it can be that they left them high and dry and they want to come and court you. 
I'm getting all kinds of messages. So take what resonates. You're dealing with somebody though, which is great, which is very, very mature or has evolved and become more mature. Let's get some tarot charms for you, Cancer. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone with the name of Aaron. Okay, either I'm talking to an Aaron or you are Aaron. This person wants you to know you are always in their heart. They never go a day without thinking about you and they love you. Look at that. And we had the King of Queen of Cups too. They love you and you're always in their heart. Okay. Um, they see home sweet home with you. Look at that. Okay. They see home sweet home with you. Could be dealing with someone with the name of John or Jonathan or Johnny. Could go by the name of Johnny or it's Johnny, Jonathan, John that's watching. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, yeah, good luck is following you. Cancer, this is fantastic. Okay, so good luck is coming in for you. And there's the shooting star. So Spirit's telling you to go after your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, and remain optimistic, okay? Some of you could be really into cycling. Like you really like to get in the outdoors and go cycling. Some of you could even be into, you know, bike races. Could be, I don't know why I'm getting that. I never get that, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the three messages, confessions from your soulmate. Are you ready? Now again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this doesn't resonate now, it definitely can in the future, okay? So part two is going to consist of checking into the next six months with the after tarot. Let's find out what the possible outcome is. We're going to do the new spread with a new deck and ask spirit questions about the person coming towards you. I'm going to pull... Um, Again, the fun tarot of SEX, get what the intimate messages are, how your person's feeling about you intimately. We're going to pull more confessions from your soulmate. We are going to dig, okay? One, two, three. Are you ready? Let's pull it. Let's see. Now I need to use these. <laughs> Hang on. Hold me. Things are not right in my world, and I'm longing for your embrace today. Please send me your love so that I know everything will be okay. So your person's going through a rough, stressful patch here, okay? And I feel like, you know, they're wanting to reach out to you here. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. They may send you a message, okay? Next message. Regret. I'm so ashamed and embarrassed. I can't begin to look you in the eyes and tell you everything. I can't stand the thought of making you cry. Just let me build up the courage to confront us, okay? So this person, you know... They may have had some kind of issues in their life with a marriage or commitment here. You know, they felt stuck. They messed with you. They messed and played games. They want to apologize for that. Uh, but for others of you, this person regrets treating you a certain way. Um, again, for some of you, it can be that they were testing you because they wanted to make sure you weren't a gold digger. Uh, again, it's it's kind of like... <laughs> You don't, you don't, you don't mess with people like that because it, they don't see you in a, especially water sign because they're not materialistic, but they, they will, uh, chances are a lot of them won't tolerate it. And you may, you know, your person, you may have left them out in the cold because you were serious about going towards marriage and commitment and you've just decided to move forward because they left you stuck. Okay. So I'm getting mixed messages there. So I could be dealing with two groups of Cancerians. Strive. I have grown up since our last encounter. I've been working on myself to be a better person whom you can be proud of. Okay, so like I was saying, your person may have evolved. Um, instead of being kind of materialistic, Mr. and Mrs. Suave, I always get what I want. Look at me. I'm driving this fancy car, a Ferrari or a, I don't know, a, a Corvette or a Porsche and look at my house and, you know, look at this and look at that. You know, it, instead of showing cancer that, show them, you know, that you love animals or show them your soft side. They want to see your heart. They don't want to see your bank account. That's true story, right, Cancer? Okay, we are going to start digging into part two. Again, the next six months after Tarot, the new spread. I want to clarify the King of Wands and Temperance. Why is your person having to be patient? What are they waiting for? We've got the Two of Wands here. What are they waiting for? Let's start digging. Okay, much love, much light. For those of you who are seeing me on part two, I'll be right there. For those of you seeing me next time, it'll be a little while, probably about a week. Okay, bye for now.